But one has to know that <coughs> only we are realized souls is not the point. Only that we can feel the vibrations is not the point. That we can give realizations to other is also not the point. Then what is it? Very important is the content within us. What do we have within us is the point. These are all the expressions of what we have within. Supposing somebody is generous, then know that he is a rich man, otherwise he cannot be. So the content within us, we have to see. And when we start seeing the content, where do we find in the nature there is real content? We say the sea. Sea is there, sea full of water. So much of water it sucks in from everywhere. And then it allows itself to be boiled by the sun and gives rain. But sea is the lowest level, stands at the lowest level and sucks in all the water from everywhere. In the same way, a Sahaja Yogi must know that to be really achieving more content, we have to be not at a higher level outside. He said in the Bible you have to be meek, but I think it was not explained to people. Only the strong people can be meek. Secured people can be meek. Only the rich, in essence, can be meek. Not the people who are insecure, because they are insecure, how can they be meek? And not the people who we think are rich, so-called, because if they are rich, they are not generous, they are not satisfied, they are not philanthropic, so they are not rich, they are still greedy beggars. So the content within us is to be seen. What is our content? You love me, I love you, it's very good. But when you love me, you have to know that there are certain qualities which are very lovable in a Sajogi. Actually people get lost even after Sajogi. They think they can get over everything, they are perfectly all right and they are thrown overboard. So when we say that we have to be meek, this is a content, the humility is a content. Try to do that. Try to be humble with someone. You like yourself. You will enjoy that quality within us, that you see I am humbler than another person. And what is another thing we find as content are the great mountains because they have heights. And they are the only ones who can capture the clouds. So such a rapport there is between the humility of the ocean and the heights of the mountain. 
That's how a Sahaja Yogi should be. He is too hard because so much of content is there in that ocean, then it has become beautiful like clouds and touched his height, his Kailasha, where he sights the Shiva. So it's so joy-giving. Of course, as you have painted me there, it's true, that was my situation once upon a time. Today also it is my situation, no doubt, in a very subtle manner, because there's so much of negativity. And I have to work it out on all kinds of levels. There is no excuse for some human being to be a devil, no excuse. And for a Sahaja Yogi there is no excuse at all. But still, once I have called you my son, my child, there is a little blessing goes, I would say, long rope. But that long rope one should not care for. You have to care for your own quality, for your own inner capacity to suck in. Now look at the ocean as it is. All that is around falls into the ocean, everything. And then the sun, you can say that's the spirit, evaporates, only possible. In the ocean, it doesn't evaporate the river so much as it can because such a wide thing, such a deep thing, inexhaustible. And then absolutely pure material comes out of that. And that can go and touch the heart. Because as a search of yours, hearts are at a very high level where there is Shiva residing. Nobody can reach there except for the purity. And unless and until you have that largeness, that depth, that humility and the maryadas, you know that sea never leaves its own maryadas. And if you press it from one end, it will express on one other side. It never leaves. If Pacific Ocean was even hundred feet deeper, there would have been a problem. So even in depth, in its height, in its spreading, it has its own maryadas. But in that maryada, he has a feeling that he is one with the nature, one with mother. He is not disturbing the mother earth, nicely placed in the body of mother earth. Nature is bound by the divine. The divine looks after the nature, so everything works out beautifully and you have freedom. And after Sahaja Yoga you have greater freedom. <coughs> Absolute freedom because you can not be bowed by anything nonsensical, anything sinful, anything base. You are above that like a mountain. And so wherever there is a combination of a mountain and an ocean, the ships can come. Deep people can only come to such shores where there is depth. That's how you achieve your depth between your heart and your Bhavasagara. That beautiful area where people can come to you and just they know this is something great.
Everybody knows that. You have seen that I'm like any other woman to look at, I don't know, you might think I'm different but normally. But how many people come to my program? How do they come to my program? Must think. In Colombia when nobody had even heard my name, came, I mean, very surprising. And people had no place to sit. In Russia where, I mean, no question of my, they knowing my name, there are no books published, nothing. So, you can say that, Mother, you manipulate it through the collective unconscious. I do not, but it does, I think so. So when the Sahaja Yogis have that content within themselves, the collective unconscious, the divine will act, definitely act. Like a person who is spreading advertisements, this, that, yes, people come because he takes money. They think they can purchase this back. But where there's no money involved, no business involved, nothing, you people are just simple people, just like them, so. But it's all done by the Divine, isn't it? So the Divine works it out. But if the Sahaja Yogis in a place are good for nothing, then even if I am there, it does not work. Half-hearted people, if they are, it does not work. In no way to discourage you, but to tell you that you have to develop your content within yourself, a complete faith in yourself. This is the greatest property of a surgeon. And what is this ocean? It's love, it's love and love. It doesn't talk, it doesn't do much, nothing is to be done in this. It just works spontaneously. The less you do, the better. The more you try to do, I will do this, I will it, you know. You just develop your content within yourself. And imagine you are also lucky, you have so many provisions which nobody had, they had to go into jungles, they had to take all the wrath of their gurus and <coughs> nobody to protect them. And they never had Adi Shakti to worship. So you have Adi Shakti with you whose power is all this divine. So you are at such an advantageous position. But first you must realize, so when we say we should have content, then the vessel has to be strong, otherwise everything will break. And this strength is the one you should know that you are completely protected. No one can harm you. They'll try. This has to be, otherwise how will you test whether you are absolutely safe or not? So somebody has to try some tricks just to see and for you to watch how you are successful. Without doing anything, you'll be amazed, everything will be cleared up and you will not know how things have cleared out, how things have worked out. So the strength comes, again the question is how the strength comes into a surgery. There I would say in the Shraddha. Shraddha is not blind faith. After Sahaja Yoga, after Realization, you know everything. 
you've seen my photographs, you've seen how Surge Yoga works, you've seen how you can raise the Kundalini of people, you can feel the vibrations, you can feel others, you can cure others. All this power is within you. But just to realize that power without ego is your strength. And when you are powerful, you don't have the ego because what is the need there? Ego is there only when you don't have power because you want to have more, more, more. But when you are fully there, there's no ego. So this power is to be ascertained first, to find out whether you are powerful or not, to find out first. And then, like if I have to sit on the chair, I'll see, is it all right or is it shaky? Oh, it's all right, I can sit on this. Some surgeries still remain on the periphery. There's sometimes a very big gap between some who have reached great heights and some who are outside. All these are negative forces which were killed long time back. Only one Shakti was sufficient to kill them of Kali Shakti, Durga Shakti. But you have so many of them. You have Mahalakshmi Shakti. You've got Saraswati Shaktis. You have all the twelve deities are there working for you. So, realizing it is the meaning that you must have complete faith in yourself. If you still doubt yourself, That's also a human quality. I mean, a dog knows that he's a dog. He doesn't doubt that he's a dog or a cat, does he? Or a tiger knows he's a tiger and he knows what capacities he's got. It's only the human beings have got, apart from other stupid qualities, is one this that they can doubt themselves. And this doubting quality has made them cowards. In Sahaja Yoga, you should have no doubts about yourself. Because I'm doing, still doing like this, Mother, I'm still doing like this, then how? Then get rid of it. I mean, how can I solve your problem if you want to carry monkey on your back? And I'm still carrying the monkey on your back, you get rid of the monkey, finished. It's so simple. I mean, to my simple logic, this is what is the answer. Why do you want to carry the monkey and then come and tell me, Mother, I am carrying the monkey? <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> get it off your head, get it off your back. It's very simple, you are a surgeon. 